Have you ever been in a state where you feel as though you've lost out on something? You might feel as though you've lost out on some opportunities that could have really impacted your life. You may feel as though you lost out on relationships that could have been of great benefit to you. You are able to cause that which was intended for evil to work out in our favor. As we trust in you, Lord, we hold on to the promise in Jeremiah 17. Verses 7 through 8. The Bible reads, Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord. Shelly, your new favorite YouTuber. And if you've already been here, it's just your favorite YouTuber. Welcome back, you guys, to another vlog. This is gonna be just a day in my life vlog. Today is Monday. What's the date? I don't even know. Monday, June 19th. Happy Juneteenth, everybody. We are going to run to like a couple of stores. I want to go and get some furniture shopping done. If you're new here, we did just recently move. We meaning my daughter myself and our dog milo we just moved into our new home and we got a lot of ground to cover so i want to go and look at some furniture today also um so i found this couch that i really want for the living room so i want to go look at that it's at crate and barrel and then i also found a desk that i really 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 like so i want to go and see if i can get that today i actually saw it at home goods it's a glass desk at first i was looking at like wooden desk but i kind of want to go and get this glass desk that i've been having my eye on so i am getting ready right now i just had like a little bit of a slow morning with milo and then i had to call the water company because i got a notice that said that the water was going to be shut off we can't have that happen you know so they were going to turn it off tomorrow so i had to call up there and see what was going on and they said that my landlord needed to call in and like notify them that this unit was listed as a rental because this unit has never been a rental before so they needed my landlord to call in and like confirm that or verify that so i uh, got that figured out squared away and we are not gonna have to go without water that was our morning i listen to this um like videos every morning on this youtube channel i will link it down below for anyone who is interested but they give you like morning prayers every morning and so i always go on there every morning turn it on and listen to it it really helps to like start my day and i don't know i just feel so much better every morning every day when i start my days and in my days with god and just connecting with him and it's my peaceful place my happy place removing all distractions and disconnecting from all distractions so whenever like once i wake up in the morning i say my prayer and then i just like to listen to you know something that lifts me up and lift my spirit that is what i do every single morning and it's really helped me to come into like this peaceful place that a lot of you have witnessed so yeah if you are seeking peace and you can't seem to you know get it it's like your world just seems like it's full of chaos and there is a lot going on go to him i encourage you to go to him because there is no peaceful place like being in the presence of the lord 
So that is my little helpful tip for the day. We're getting ready right now. I'm about to go and get my nails done. My appointment is actually in about 20 minutes, so I kind of got to hurry up. But I wanted to like pull myself together. I've been feeling so pretty with like my minimal makeup that I've been doing a little bit here. But I've been feeling so pretty doing just like the minimal makeup look and a little bit of eyeliner when my lashes aren't hating. I have a lash appointment tomorrow, so I'm not even tripping, but I just used the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. It's a glow booster for radiant skin. I've been alternating between this one and the Charlotte Tilbury. They both give me like the same effect, so I use either or. And the concealer that I used was the Hourglass Concealer. A little bit to highlight. I would let it sit for a little bit, but I'm kind of in a rush, so I'm gonna just blend. I'm gonna set with Hourglass Powder. I'm gonna bronze with Fenty Bronzer and Coco Naughty. Just wearing this dress that I got from Zara like two years ago. Slides are from H&M, my Gucci purse, gold accessories, and I'm gonna get out of here because I don't want to be late. Otherwise, they cannot take my appointment. So I will see you guys after I get my nails done. Favorite this one? Really? Yeah. It comes with toffee nut, so it enhances the flavor of the toffee nut and coffee. Okay, well, good to know. Yeah. <laughs> Have a good one. You too. Okay, nails are done. We ended up going with first kiss, and oh, I forgot the other color that's on top, but one coat of first kiss one coat of crepe i think that's what it's called but super pretty very natural i was gonna go with a french tip decided not to i just really like the natural look of my nails and we just did an overlay we ended up taking off the fake nail and just doing an overlay but this nail broke and this nail broke during my move so we did tips for these until they grow out but for now we just got an overlay and it's so pretty I love it so much so that's all done I stopped at Starbucks and got the new Oliedo Oliado Oliedo I honestly don't know what it's supposed to be they said it's like olive oil infused so it makes it more of like a velvety texture I tried it with the shaken espresso one pump of white mocha it is really good like I noticed the difference I feel like it's a little bit sweeter like if I would have done a vanilla sweet cream cold foam on top I wouldn't have liked it I don't know it's a little bit sweet and I like more of the coffee taste but anyway it is really good so my next stop I need to I need to pick up Leia from her dad's I need to stop and get Leia from her dad's house but I feel like I'm gonna have to pick her up and then go and do everything that I want to do and then she also has tumbling today so i feel like i should just go and do everything that i need to do today like go and take it's not i'm saying it like i have these crazy errands and shit today i don't have a crazy amount of errands or anything that i need to do but things that i want to do i went to sephora the other day and i picked up 
if y'all aren't hip to it, let me put y'all on. The Nest Sunkissed Hibiscus. Y'all, this smells amazing. You can wear with other scents, other fragrances, whatever. You can layer it. It just smells so good. It smells good on its own. But yeah, I picked up another one. Travel size, you already know the tea on that. But I ran out of my other one. I've had that one for about a year. That's why I get travel size because I had that one for about a year and now I need another one But I also got good girl gone bad by Killian. I love Killian scents and it's been a while since I've grabbed another one I think my last Killian scent that I got was love don't be shy, which is what I'm wearing today So I picked these up. Why am I putting that in my purse? So I picked these two up, but then I also got another lip oil and they ended up giving me rosewood and they were supposed to give me raspberry so I got to take this back and get the correct one and then I also want to go to a few furniture stores I want to stop at home goods and see if they have that desk that I want so we're gonna get a couple things done I also want to go to crate and barrel and look at this couch that I'm thinking about ordering so we're gonna do that today and I figured I would just bring you guys along for all of it because y'all are my girls and y'all love giving me y'all input on the things that I do to like my house and stuff. And I love that you guys do that because it really helps me out. And y'all be giving me some true gems that I use. So we got a few things that we need to get done today. So let's go, let me put my seatbelt on. What are you doing girl? Safety first. Let me call Leah because I feel so bad. I feel like she's gonna be like, you're not picking me up yet. She said her dad was gonna bring her home though, so maybe I'll just wait until her dad drops her off and see if her dad dropped her off. And if he hasn't, then, girl, I am on the curb. <laughs> but if he hasn't dropped her off yet, then I'm just gonna tell her that I'll pick her up on my way back. Cause that's going too far. <laughs> Rainy days don't seem so wet Stormy nights don't stay Kind of like this look of this one with like the slouchy pillows This is the Lotus collection But that would be like, I feel like that's gonna be too big to go in my living room. This one is the Ares collection. It looks more structured. And yeah, I don't really like, I don't really like this one. Let's see. The one that I'm here to see is the ocean side. I think it's this one, yep, right there. This one sits very low. I'm glad I did not order this online. Yeah, no. Oh my god, this sits so low. Wait. This sits very, very low. I don't like it. It's a very nice couch, but I wish it sat up a little bit higher. <laughs> like, look at this. Oh! Oh my god. Let's go back over here. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. This is the one that I think I love, but it won't be in stock until like mid-August, but it's so comfy. I love the look of it. I hate the price on it. <laughs> Y'all, we got a lot to think about. So I just got the fabric sample from the lady in there. Very sweet lady. She was helping me to like choose because the couch that I came in here to look at is the ocean side. I was looking at the ocean side and when I sat on it, it was so low. Like it sits so low and I'm tall. Well, I'm 5'7", so I'd say I'm a little bit on the taller side. It just wasn't comfortable for me. It wasn't hidden. So then I tried out another couch, which is the, the Avondale. It looks like this. This is a very expensive couch. 
very expensive so i don't want to make any decisions right now i'm super inspired to decorate my place but realistically furniture is so expensive that i just want to make sure that i'm weighing all my options and not like pressuring myself to hurry up and like furnish everything i really want to get my house together like i feel like i feel more comfortable in my space when i love my space and i love what it looks like i know a lot of you guys were commenting on my last vlog and you were like the living room looks so nice we love the way that it looks and all that but that that furniture that's in my living room I'm not getting rid of it at all like it's going downstairs in the family room that area downstairs I don't show it in the vlogs really because there is nothing down there to show and I really just want to get my house together like I want everything to come together before the holidays and everything like I'm doing Christmas at my house and so I really just want like everything to be how it's <laughs> supposed to be before the holidays you know for the bigger pieces of furniture is where I'm feeling like damn like what am I gonna do like it's so it's so hard to choose you want to make sure that you're making the right decision because it's so expensive and it's an investment it doesn't come cheap the pieces that you want they're either not in stock or something like that and it's like I just don't have time like I, if you guys have been watching my vlogs for a while you guys remember I went through this with Ashley furniture like my couch that I have now took eight months to come you know what I'm saying and I'm just like I don't want to I don't want to go through that I don't want to go through the waiting game and I've been creating a Pinterest board and I have all these ideas and I'm one of those people like I want it to happen you know I know I have to be patient this is just the reality this is how I'm feeling right now so yeah we did that I showed you guys the couch that I'm considering and I'm gonna continue looking I didn't make any purchases or anything like that today so I have the fabric sample here I don't know if you guys can even see it but I'll bring it closer so this is what it looks like this is the fabric of the couch it does not have the slip cover which is also something that I was just like you mean to tell me like I'm gonna pay this amount of money for a couch and I can't pull the covers off to be able to wash it myself like I still got to pay to have it professionally cleaned anyway we're gonna run over to crate I was about to say crate and barrel we're gonna run over to home goods I want to see if they still have the desk in stock that I was looking at for my office also too I did get the lip oil i swung by sephora got the lip oil that i was telling you guys about it's in the shade raspberry and it looks just like it looks just like my pink one but i guess it's supposed to be a little bit more of a pink sheen so let's see if it is oh god i gotta take my lip liner off otherwise it's gonna make my wand brown and I don't want that to happen I'll show you guys the new Nespresso pods that I got when once I get home because I'm super excited uh, but I'm super excited about the new pods that I ordered I can't wait I got one that's like watermelon something watermelon juicy watermelon something like that like what watermelon coffee stop stop <laughs> I'm gonna go to the grocery store later on once I drop Leah off at tumbling and then we're gonna come home, I'm gonna make dinner, get settled in for the night, and all will be well. Here is the desk that I was looking at. I love it. It is all glass, it's thick, and I like that it's nice and wide. And because it's glass, it won't look like it's taking up a lot of space. The only thing is there's no storage on it. Mm. So where's my printer gonna go? <laughs> Let me stand back so you guys can see how big it is. Why is it like this? There's that. Now it's just gonna have to live in my car until I can have someone help me bring it in. <laughs> I know these people are like, girl, what are you doing? I'm sorry, y'all. Give me a second. Let me get it together. We got the desk, y'all. Hopefully I like it, cause this bad boy is heavy. I picked up my babies. 
say hi to the vlog. Hi vlog. We're going to tumbling. Yeah, I haven't done anything today. You haven't done anything today? Because for the last like two days I've been productive because yesterday was Father's Day and then the day before that I was at a Juneteenth festival. Oh yeah, y'all. Leah went to a Juneteenth festival with her dad. What did you get your dad for Father's Day? Tell them. Um, I got him a Duncan gift card because Duncan's his favorite. <laughs> and I got him M&M's and a card saying that he's so like sweet. the world's number one dad. Aw, that's so sweet. Trying to find this bracelet that we got from the festival. Mm -hmm. oh, it says Juneteenth, free-ish, free-ish since 1865. <laughs> oh, hold on. Saved by the bell. Back home. Y'all, and I got my desk in. It's upstairs. Y'all see how quick I move? <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, but yeah, I did get my desk in. Every time you order from Nespresso, they always offer to send sample packs. So they sent these. I already have these though. I've never tried that one, I don't think. Anyway, I got two more of my Chiaro. These are my favorite to have in the summertime. You can have these over ice. And I like to have like my iced coffee with the double espresso shots. But here is the juicy watermelon it says over ice on the box so i'm definitely gonna try this over ice i'm not gonna even dare to try it hot but then i also got a box of the ice Ligero. i've had this one before too i basically wanted to get the ones that you can pour over ice you can actually have this one hot or cold but i like it over ice so got two of those one of this and one of this that's pretty much it but i do want to try this one I feel like I should look on TikTok and see. I should look on TikTok and see if someone ordered this one and how they prepare it because I don't want to mess it up, but I want to try it. But I don't want to try it and it be nasty. So I feel like I should go on TikTok and see how someone else made it so that I can try to recreate that. Let me show y'all the syrups that I got too. I got this one which is vanilla bean brown sugar cinnamon they're only seven dollars at home goods and they be like 12 to 14 dollars on amazon so go to home goods and then i also got irish cream this one is so good if you can find this one get this one it is so good i tried this one with a double espresso chiaro um with oat milk and i used this creamer just a little bit like a, a splash of it with the irish cream as the base probably the best coffee that I've made at home ever. I'm gonna go upstairs and show you guys my desk and the rug. I kinda wanna set it up just a little bit before I have to go pick Leia up because I have about an hour before I have to go get Leia and I still wanna go to the grocery store beforehand. Here's the desk, this is what it looks like. You guys, when I looked this desk up online, um, walmart.com, it said that it was like $800, seven or $800, so yeah, crazy. I got it for 300. At home goods and I'm out of breath. Okay. Are you gonna be? Say that you're gonna be. Which one of y'all told me that I needed a bigger desk? reveal yourself right now because you know what you were right you were right but you didn't tell me where to put it sis update i have to wash that curtain panel right there but that one's cleaned that's what it's supposed to look like and i just think it looks so good with the carpet or the rug i'm definitely keeping this this rug i really really like it and i like how soft it is and i feel like it just goes perfectly with this desk because a furry rug was needed because this desk is so freaking heavy you guys it's not even funny so i'm gonna finish setting up and then i'll show you guys the amazon look at all this ridiculous <laughs>
Let's meet down at the lonely to be a day in my life vlog but y'all last night it took me so long to finish up with my office which i just showed you guys a quick little overview i'm still gonna get some artwork to go on the wall over here because i feel like that wall is super plain but for the most part like this is what we're working with with the office and the new desk and i love it like it's so just clean simple like minimal which is more my vibe so yeah I ended up turning the desk around or not turning it around I ended up moving my chair over to the other side I feel like I like the desk being here because I could just move my chair over there if I want to film like a TikTok or get ready with me or a sit down video or whatever and I still have room on this side if I want to set up extra lights but having the natural light beaming in this is the area that the light beams in early in the morning so i get the morning sunlight on this side of the house and then my bedroom and everything the dining room and all that gets the sunlight in the evening i got very lucky with having or getting this town home because i get the east and west sun as opposed to my old house where i got north and south if you're a plant parent then you know east and west sun is the best for plants like i said i really love my office it looks so clean and crisp in here and it just feels so like welcoming and zen i'm thinking about getting a new chair for now i just put this throw blanket and a pillow in this chair i just got to do a little bit of shopping around for a chair but i really 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 love the desk and the rug and this little bench thing will for the little furry bench over here i don't know if i'm gonna keep it but if i do i'm just gonna spray paint the legs on it black they're like a gold bronze cup excuse me <laughs> they're like a gold bronze color but yeah that's pretty much it i tried out the watermelon nespresso pod i followed this recipe that this girl used on tiktok but basically she just did the juicy watermelon nespresso pod along with milk and then she did matcha foam on top she used vanilla for her syrup and i think i used a little too much like matcha and cream because i mixed it with my creamer i want to try it again and not use so much milk and not use so much of the foam because i feel like it overpowered the watermelon i didn't really get to taste the watermelon this actually is very good but it tastes more like matcha and cinnamon than anything <laughs> but anyway i wanted to sit down at my computer and start editing the vlog that you guys are going to see before you see this one so i'm going to get started on that and then I'm gonna start getting ready for work. Later on today, I do have my lash appointment. I really do want to cook. I really want a salmon bowl. Yesterday, I did not make the salmon bowl. I was way too tired. By the time I finished with like my office and taking everything downstairs, because I wanna sell my old desk, I was gonna give it to Leah, but it's just too like big to fit in Leah's room. So I'm gonna sell it. I'm gonna put it on like Marketplace or something, I don't know. That's the update on the office. I might bring you guys with me into today. I kinda wanna show you guys like me cooking and, and start doing more like settled in vlogs at home. I know you guys really like the home vlogs. I'm just gonna bring you guys into today and just make it like a full, kind of like a full 24 hours in my life basically i'm gonna get some edits done start getting ready for work and then i will see you guys at my lash appointment
Every second, every day mm-hmm. 